10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top décollage. For the first time since 2008, the European Space Agency is opening their search for new astronauts. On February 16th, ESA held a press conference outlining the role, requirements, as well as all the important dates for the astronaut selection programme. They also introduced some pretty big changes, as well as some exciting new projects, but don't worry if you missed it, because we've got you covered with all the details. Well, for the first time ever, there are going to be two streams of astronaut, career astronauts and reserves. Well, there are going to be four to six positions available for career astronauts who will work for ESA permanently and essentially be fully committed and connected to ongoing ESA missions. Alongside these selections, there will also be a pool of up to 20 reserve astronauts who will be ready to support specific missions and take part in short term projects. On top of this, they also have the chance to join ESA's astronaut corps in the future, permanently. The Lunar Gateway is set to launch in 2024, and it's going to act as a sort of service station pit stop for astronauts on the way to the moon, so it seems highly likely that before too long we'll be seeing this selection of astronauts headed to the moon. For the time being though, it's highly likely that much like the current active astronauts, they will be headed to the ISS, the International Space Station, where they'll be continuing with all the life science experiments that they are taking part in. Applicants need to have a master's degree in either natural sciences, computer sciences, engineering or mathematics, or by another route they need to have an experimental test pilot degree. On top of this, they need to have three years professional postgraduate relevant work experience. Understandably, astronauts need to be able to keep calm under pressure. They need to be highly motivated and happy working long hours with long absences from home. Applicants are required to be fluent in English, however, good knowledge of a second language is considered to be a great asset. So, considering Russian is the second language of the ISS, it might be time to... You'll also need to submit a special medical certificate issued by either an aviation medical examiner or an aeromedical centre because astronauts need to be fit and healthy. Right at the heart of this new call for astronauts is a sense of diversity. Diversity is not a burden for us. Diversity is an asset for us. The agency is strongly encouraging women to apply as they seek to expand gender diversity throughout their ranks. And it isn't just gender diversity they're working on. Verna is welcoming applications from everyone regardless of their ethnicity, faith, age and sexual orientation. And in a world first, ESA is running a separate call for a power astronaut feasibility project. That is, they're looking for individuals who have all the qualifications to be an astronaut, but have a physical disability that would normally prevent them from being selected. Vacancies will appear on the ESA Careers website on the 31st of March and remain open until the 28th of May. The whole six-stage process is expected to span about 18 months, with the final selections being made public in October 2022. So you better go tidy up that CV. My only one tip that I'm going to say is apply. <laughs> As we said, we are expecting thousands of applications for very few selectees. So most people are going to fail. So it's a very, very safe place to fail. It's not a problem. But you're going to 100% fail if you do not apply. 